Hi everyone. In this video, I wanted to show you a very simple technique to help with your dog's back. A lot of dogs suffer from back pain. Uh, it can be common in certain breeds or in senior dogs who might have arthritic changes. So if you notice that your dog is uncomfortable, maybe moving away from your touch, maybe licking at your hand or pushing your hand away, do seek out advice from your veterinarian how you can help with your dog's discomfort as back pain very often goes unnoticed until it's quite severe. So before starting any body work session, any massage session, I always ask the dog their permission. And usually I do that just by placing my hand on my dog's shoulder and in my mind connecting and asking their permission. You want to see your dog relaxed, maybe rolling onto their hip and open to the idea of having work done on their body. Now, if they move away, walk away, they're not in the mood, just let them try again another time when they feel a little bit more cooperative. So to begin, I will warm up the area I want to work on, which is the spinal column. Whenever I'm working on the back, I do not work on the spine itself. So uh, in Rocco, you can very easily see where the spine is. It's where the black stripe run, runs along his back. And you can feel bony protrusions along the back. You do not want to work on those. You want to stay off of them. So a couple of inches off on either side. And we're going to be working on the very superficial tissues of the spinal column, the skin, the fascia, superficial muscles. I'm going to start by gently stroking his back all the way down the tail as the tail is part of the spinal column starting at the base of the head and running my hand down all the way down. I'm opening up the area, warming it up, inviting fresh blood flow, relaxing the muscles, and also letting know the nervous system what my intention is. So then when I come in and start working on the body, there the dog isn't surprised and they're already on board and aware of what's going to happen. And now I'm going to do very gentle circular motion with the pads of my fingers, not my fingertips. I don't want to be poking. I don't want to be putting on any pressure. I'm going to be working with the pads and I'm going to be doing little circular movement and you should feel the skin moving under your fingers. You want to feel a little bit of traction and what we're doing here, we're just releasing any adhesions and restrictions along the spinal column. These restrictions can be quite painful. And you might notice as you're doing this that your dog might be uncomfortable. Maybe there's some skin flinching, some spasms. So if that's the case, you just want to put your hand gently on the area and hang out there, allowing the heat from your hand to release um, any tension and relax the nerves that are firing underneath. Now for Rocco, this area is quite restricted and I can feel that because when I'm running my hand along the spinal column, doing my little circles, there's going to be areas that are moving very smoothly with my fingers and then there's areas that feel very sluggish and stuck. And I'm going to do this a few times on each side. And with each pass down the dog's back, you might feel that 
the skin is feeling a little bit looser, moving more smoothly, and your dog is settling into the massage. And you want to go all the way down. And then start on the other side. If you notice an area is particularly stuck, you want to slow down your circle, make it smaller, more deliberate. Remember to breathe throughout. You don't want to be holding your breath. That's, that's going to affect the quality of your touch and your dog will right away notice. So remember to breathe, go slow, don't use too much pressure, less is more, and have fun with your dog. Then when you're done, make sure to let your dog know that the session is over by again stroking gently down their back, closing the area that you just worked on. To finish the session, place your hand on your dog and acknowledge them, thank them for their trust and thank them for allowing you to work with them.